Joe Biden is waging war on the U.S. auto industry with a series of crippling mandates designed to force Americans into expensive electric cars. That's just what you want. Even as thousands of electric cars are piling up on car lots, all unsold. This ridiculous Green New Deal crusade is causing car prices to skyrocket while setting the stage for the destruction of American auto production. These extreme left-wing policies are a disaster for families and consumers and are one of the main reasons the average cost of a new car is now over $50,000. Absolutely outrageous, and there's never been such a price before. These exorbitant prices are, despite the fact that Biden is spending billions and billions of taxpayer dollars subsidizing electric cars for rich people, while normal Americans can't afford to use one, nor do they even want to. Biden is killing American consumers, and he's also killing U.S. manufacturing. In an all-out attack on American-made pickup trucks, SUVs, and other automobiles, Biden doubled CAFE standards, a move that is projected to cost automakers $200 billion. By one estimate, Biden's electric vehicle mandate will slaughter 117,000 U.S. auto manufacturing jobs, with workers in Michigan, Indiana, and Ohio among the hardest hit. And I hope United Auto Workers is listening to this, because I think you better endorse Trump, because I'm going to grow your business, and they are destroying your business. They are absolutely destroying your business. How people can vote for you just because it's an automatic Democrat vote. Look how they've decimated the car industry over the years. Mexico has 32 percent of the business that we used to have. It's ridiculous. But they didn't do it while I was president. I can tell you that. If Biden's assault is not stopped, American auto production will be totally dead. That's why I'm going to terminate these Green New Deal atrocities on day one. In my first term, I fought for auto workers like never before, canceling TPP, which was a disaster, ending the NAFTA nightmare. The NAFTA trade deal was the worst deal ever negotiated on trade, and renegotiating Obama's horrendous Korea trade deal made it a great deal from a horrible deal. I saved the American auto industry once, and now I will save it again. Every voter in Michigan, Ohio, Indiana, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina needs to know, if you want to have an auto industry, you need to defeat Joe Biden. He's a corrupt president. And re-elect President Donald Trump. Thank you very much. We will take care of you.